Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to Friday, and the good news is it isn't raining yet. Uh, as you know, Friday's is live album ranking, and today we have got one of my favourite guitarists. We've done the story on him. Um, it's Michael Schenker, and we're going to look at his live albums, and it's and we're excluding, of course, the UFO, because we've already done them. So, in the various disguises of Michael Schenker, there have been eight live albums. So, we're going to have a look at them today. So, coming in at number eight, we have got Unplugged Live, which was recorded in Anaheim, California in 1992. And it's most of the songs on here are taken from an EP that he'd done called Nightmare, the Acoustic MSG. So playing on here, we've got Vocals and Tambourine by Robin McCauley. Michael plays lead and rhythm guitars. And Spencer Serkin plays 12-string, 6-string rhythm guitars and vocals on background vocals on some of the tracks. And he does a lead break on Give All Your Love. So the first track on here, and these tracks are all from the Nightmare EP, is Anytime. It's a nice track. Um, so it doesn't matter if he's playing electric guitar or an acoustic guitar, Michael is just brilliant. It's a really nice chop. We Believe in Love, What Happens to Me, Bad Boys, Gimme Your Love. I mean, the Spencer's little lead break is good on that. Then we have a track from the MSG album with Robin, Perfect Timing, called Gimme Your Love. That is pretty, pretty good. That's the one that uh, Spencer does on it. And then we have from No Heavy Petting, an acoustic version of Natural Thing. Really nice. And then we've got Pierre, formerly the Conspire Concerto concert. Really good. Then we go back to the Nightmare EP for When I'm Gone, Nightmare. Really good. And then we have two uh, UFO tracks to end the evening. Um, Doctor Doctor from Phenomenon, um, really good as an acoustic song, they did it really well. Now the one that I was surprised about is this one, Lights Out, as an acoustic song, and it works really well. Nice track to end at the album. It's not a bad album, um, you get the whole of the Nightmare EP, plus a few UFO tracks for, thrown in for good measure. And it's not bad, it's probably one of the better acoustic albums out there. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 7. This was released in 2010 and it's the 30th anniversary concert live in Tokyo. And it was filmed at the Nakano Sun Plaza 20, in 2010 on the 13th of January on here. We've got lead vocals from Gary Barden, Michael on the guitars, the ever-present Wayne Finley on keyboards, Neil Murray on bass, and Simon Phillips on drums. What a, a line-up. Some fine musicians here. So it opens up with this Welcome Howl, which is a little bit of guitar thing from Michael. Then it goes in from a track off the debut album, Feels Like a Good Thing, and it's really good. Uh, excellent track staying with that debut album a little bit of cry for the nations and one of my favorite tracks and it always sounds better live i think then we go to the msg album a little bit of let sleeping dogs lie classic um track um from that album really love that back to the debut for a couple of more armed and ready killer track Killer track, uh, one of the classic MSG tracks, brilliant. And staying on that album, they go and do Victim Illusion. Some great tracks off that debut album being done live here. Let me go back to that second album, MSG Ready to Rock, Riffs Galore. Oh, do I love that track! And then we go to one of a couple of tracks off one of the more recent albums um i think this is the album they were touring one from the inner in the mist of beauty two tracks off there i want you and night to remember excellent so they're back to 
the debut album and that wonderful into the arena oh i love that michael whoa he's absolutely killer on that and guitar the riffs are brilliant we get to stay with the debut for lost horizons brilliant um let me get to the build to destroy album for rock my nights away absolutely killer track again Back to the MSG for a couple of tracks, on and on, and the Attack of the Mad Axeman, one of my favourite tracks from Michael. Um, right on my way from the, in the Mr. Beauty. Then we do a little bit of Rock Bottom, absolutely killer track, always love hearing that, regardless of who plays it, it's a brilliant track. Then we they do uh, Dance... Dance Lady Gypsy from the Schenker Bard Acoustic Project, which is really nice. Uh, and it ends, of course, with Doctor Doctor. Still a great track to this day. An impressive lineup with some impressive songs. Seven, an RTO ranking of 7.3. It's just killer, killer music. Every album is killer here. Okay, coming in at number six. Released in 1999, the Unforgiven World Tour, double album, from three performances at the Edge, Paolo Alto, California. The material doubts throughout Schenker's career, including Scorpion's UFO and Michael Schenker and some of his solo work as well. On here, we have got Michael Schenker on lead guitar, Keith Slack on vocals, Kelly Keeling does some vocals as well. The ever presence Wayne Finley, Shane Galhas on drums, and Barry Sparks on bass. This one opens up, goes straight into the Michael Schenker Group album, and for a bit of Armed and Ready, then we get two, three UFO tracks. Only You Can Rock Me, Natural Thing, and Push to the Limit on the reunion album from Walk on Water. It's better live than, than it is in the studio. It's a really good track. Then we go to the Written in Sand album. For Written in Sand, of course, a great track. Then to Built to Destroy, we've got two little instrumentals coming up here. Captain Nemo, love that. The silent movie track, as I call it. Into the Arena, so you've got the two best um, instrumentals on. Put together, brilliant. Back to the Written in the Sand album for a bit of essence. Then the album from The Unborn Given, which has got Keely, Kelly Keely and single on it, Pie of Your Soul. I love that track. Mess, the Mess I've Made is a brilliant track as well from that album, and Fat City. Back to the second MSG album for On and On, which goes stonking into that Attack of the Mad Axeman. Absolutely killer tracks. Let me go to Assault Assault, which is my favourite MSG album for the title track. Brilliant. Let me go way back. We go back to Love Drive and Another Piece of Meat. Uh, brilliant track. Then we have three great tracks from the Lights Out album. Love to Love, Killer, Too Hot to Handle and Lights Out. Then we have uh, a little medley of two tracks. We have Bijou Pleasureette from the Michael Schenker Group album, with a bit of positive forward, which was a single in 1992. Then we get the show ends with two tracks from Phenomenon, Doctor Doctor, Rock Bottom. Great album. Whoa. It's got, it does, it just goes from band and era to era. Fantastic performance, so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, coming in at number 5. Now, this is his band Templar Rock, and it's called Live in Europe, and it was recorded at the at the 13 in Tilburg, Netherlands, in 2012. On here is a fantastic lineup. Lead guitar, Michael Schenker. Bass guitar, the legendary from the Scorpions, Francis Buchholz. On the drums, the wonderful Herman Rebel. The vocals are taken up by Doogie White. Uh, uh, guitar and vocals, Michael Voss. Keyboards, Wayne Finley. And uh, some of the tracks are taken as also at the High Voltage Festival in London. 
Um, on that it's Michael Herman Doogie Michael and the bass player is Elliot on there and special guests on there we have Rudolf Schenker his brother Pete May on bass and Jeff Soto Scott Soto on vocals so the Tilburg show opens up with Into the Arena what a start and that goes straight into them armed and ready for Michael Schenker Love Drive and another piece from me from the album Love Drive killer tracks then we have a track from the Temple of Rock album uh, hanging on great track back to the debut for Cry of the Nations uh, MSG's Let the Sleeping Dogs Lie and then a really good version of that instrumental from uh, Love Drive Coast to Coast absolutely killer um, Assault Attack another great track I love that one then we go back to that Templar Rock album for Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. Absolutely killer vocals on that. Lights Out, the legendary, on and on from MS3. Couple of tracks from the Force It album, Let It Roll. Brilliant track and Shoot Shoot. And then because you've got two members of X members of Scorpions, they do a version of Rock You Like a Hurricane from Love at First Sting. Fantastic. A uh, little bit of Rock Bottom. And then a bit of Holiday from Love Drive, Blackout, you know, it's just killer tracks, Doctor Doctor. And then you think that's over, but they do put a little bonus thing where you get Armed and Ready from High Voltage, another piece of meat. Rock You Like a Lu Hurricane, Hanging On, Doctor Doctor, and that's where uh, Rudolph comes in. What a live album. It's got... Everything that that Michael's ever done, the two shows, incredible stuff. And I'm going to give this an RTA ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 4 is another Temple of Rock album. And it's called Temple of Rock on a Mission Live in Madrid. Recorded in Madrid in 2015. On here we have got Michael, Francis, Herman, Wayne and Doogie. So this opens up with a little thing called Ocean Ossidy, very guitar orientated, eerie beginning, straight in to Doctor Doctor from Phenomenon. And what a start. Uh, then we have a track from one of the Temple of Rock albums, Live and Let Live and Spirit on a Mission, which is absolutely fantastic as a live track. Lights Out's on here. Then we have another track from the Temple of Rock, where the wild wind blows from the Bridge the Gap album. Great track, great live. Been a natural thing from No Heavy Petting. That little bit of um, UFO. Temple of Rock debut before the devil knows you're dead. Brilliant. MS Michael Schenker drew, group. Victims of Illusion. Uh, love Drive and Coast to Coast and Love Drive. Vigilante Man, Spirit on a Mission. Let me go to the Build the Destroy album for Rock My Nights Away. Back to the Spirit of Mission for Sue Avia Machine. Too Hot to Handle from Lights Out. Only You Can Rock Me, of course, is from the Brilliant Obsession. Lords of the Lost and Lonely from Bricks of Crack. And then we go into a little bit of Rocky Like a Hurricane, Rock Bottom. Horizons, which is off the Bridge of the Gap album. Attack of the Mad Axeman. Can't go wrong with that one, can you? And Communion from a Spirit Emission. And this one ends up with a little bit of Blackout. Uh, what do you can say? <laughs> great album. It's always great to hear Herman and Francis with Michael. Brilliant stuff. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 8.3. Okay, coming in at number three is another one of Michael's offshoot bands, and this is Fest. Now, this is Fest Live at the Tokyo International Forum Hall A, recorded on the 24th of August in 2016. Now, on here, which features Chris Glenn, Michael Schenker, Steve Mann and Ted McKenna, Gary Barden, Robin McCauley, Graham Bonnet, some great singers. So, it... The intro is um, Searching for Freedom, which is a little thing. 
guitar thing. And that goes into, into the arena. What a great track to start with. And then you think, what are they going to do next? They do Attack from the, of the Mad Axman with Gary Barden on vocals. Fantastic. Then we go to the second album, MSG, or Victims of Illusion. No, sorry, Attack... Hang on, get it right here. An attack from the Mad Actions from MSG, of course. And then Victims Illusions from the debut. Then we have a Cry for the Nations from the debut. MSG then for S Sleeping Dogs Lie. Armed and Ready. And then we have a bit of Coast to Coast from Love Drive. And a change of singer, because after that, out comes Graham Bonnet. And there's a, some, a couple of tracks from the Assault Attack album, the title track, Killer, Desert Song. You don't get that live very often, and it's brilliant. And then Dancer. Then there's another changing um, singer. And before that, you get Captain Nemo from Built to Destroy. Out comes Robin McCauley. From this Is My Heart from Save Yourself. Now, these tracks on, in the, on the album are very 80s. Wish wash, but when they're live, they're brilliant. Save yourself. The best version of that I've got. Um, Love is not a game from the perfect timing album. Absolutely brilliant live. Robin stays out and does sh um, shoot, shoot, and force it. And then the, the rest of the all three singers come out to do Doctor Doctor. I think this is a brilliant live album because it's got uh, the singers that were actually played on that albums. A great lineup. It's got Chris Glenn. It's got um, Ted McKenna on it. It's just a brilliant, brilliant album. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.5. Now, coming in at number two is the first Michael Schenker live album I ever bought. I brought it on cassette. Um, and it's Rock Will Never Die. But then they re did a remix and put some extra tracks on it and that this is what this is based on it was recorded at the Hammersmith Odeon back in 1983 and the lineup is just absolutely killer lineup um, Michael Schenker Gary Barden Chris Glenn from Alex Harvey Ted McKenna from Alex Hahn and the wonderful Andy Nye who did a lot of writing with Michael and then we got Derek St Holmes on uh, rhythm guitar it opens up with probably the best version of captain nemo um it's better than the studio version it's from built destroy brilliant which goes straight into rock my nights away absolutely killer tracks um up next on the ms3 are you ready to rock then we go back to the debut album for cry for, for nations one of the best versions of that i've got Go to the Assault Attack album for Rock, Your, You to the Ground, Attack of the Mad Maxman, Mad Axman, one of the best versions on that. Again, one of the best versions of Into the Arena. Then we have a bit of the Concevar Concerto, written by Michael and Paul Raymond. Go for a bit of Rock, Will Never Die from Built to Destroy. Absolutely brilliant. The Desert Song, very good version. Assault Attacks on here. Red Skies on here from Assault Attack. Looking for Love from MS on the MSG album. Armed and ready. And we end up with a bit of Doctor Doctor. Um, I'm so glad they brought out more tracks on the remix. My tape was played to death in the 80s. It's one of my favourite live albums. So I'm going to give that an RTO ranking of 8.8. .8. Okay, my number one album. Again, I had this on cassette and then they remastered it. Um, the original came out in 1982 and it's One Night at the Budokan, recorded on the 12th of August 1981 and the remaster came out in 2009. The bonus tracks, and that's why I had to get it again. So playing on here is Michael on guitars, Gary Barden on lead vocals, the amazing Chris Glenn on bass, Cozy Powell on drums, and Paul Raymond on rhythm guitar and keyboards. So the first track on here, they do a little bit of Ride of the Valkyries. And then it goes straight into Armed and Ready. Staying with that debut album, we get Cry for the Nations. 
There were two tracks off the MSG album, which was the album they were touring with, Attack of the Mad Axeman. But I want more. The only live version I got of that, and I think it's the best version. Back to the debut album for Victims of Illusion. Still a killer track. Then we have a little bit of in to, on, Into the Arena. Brilliant version of that. Then we go on to On and On from MSG. Never Trust a Stranger. A fantastic song written by Paul Raymond. Let Sleeping Dogs Lie. Tales of Mystery from the debut album. And then we get, and this is the only reason I brought it, the remaster really, is the Cozy Pal drum solo. Which basically we get 633 Squadron and the, the finale of 1812. It's killer. Um, Cozy Pal was just awesome. And it's the best recording. I've seen, heard many, but this is probably one of the best recordings of it. Then we have that little thing that Shankar and Raymond wrote called Curie Weiser Concerto, which is beautiful. Lost Horizons from the Michael Shankar group. And we end up with a bit of rocking with Dr. Topter. It's a cracking album, but the remaster it makes it sound even better. It's got some great tracks on this. I still love this album to death. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Okay. That's all for this one. I'm, I've got a bit enthusiastic, but I love Michael Schenker. Coming up next, we haven't got a new album this week. We've got a one-off album, and it's from a band called Steeler. We featured a guitarist that went on to have a very solo, very good solo career after Steeler packed up. I'm sure you know, you know who it is. I brought this album when it came out. Okay, I will see you for that in a bit. Bye for now.